yesterday it took me like four to five hours to do my homework which is not how long I thought it was gonna take me I thought it was gonna take me four hours max but it took me way it took me like over that what up yeah I'm gonna head back then. Alright. And yeah, so I did do homework today. Today it only took me a total of two to three hours to do. But okay, speaking of which, last night I went out with my neighbors. Not out, I just went to their house. And we were drinking. Boy, let me tell you. I'm still honestly not sure if it was the alcohol or the food. But either way, your girl was not feeling good. So then I ended up sleeping for like half the day today. Then during homework. So I got a much later start on my day today than I had planned. Phew. I mean, luckily the homework I did today wasn't that long, which is good because I got a later start than I wanted. But yeah, we're, we're... so here we are. update you <laughs> well you're not wrong cut that out monkeys in the zoo In the meantime, while editing videos, I ran into two more things. One, I still need to slow down, like read slower. And two, I need to either talk louder or turn the game volume down. So hopefully this level is cool. Honestly, won't know until I get around to editing this portion of the video. According to the game, it's November. It's not November in real life, but in the game, it's November. Curry and coffee would be perfect when it's cold outside because they both hot.
I forgot I was dead and a catchy thinks we're done doing fan of thieves stuff. I'm over here looking at the chat like what? And then I went looked at the top and looked at the pictures and saw a catchy wasn't in there, so yeah, that makes sense. Um But I say all that to say that I was sick it? last night and slept most of the day because I ha I haven't eaten anything like all day. Normally by now I would have eaten twice. I ate once and even when I started eating that my stomach said, Oh no baby, what you doing? So at some point I'm gonna have some soup during this stream. So if I get quiet, that might be what I'm doing. I'm also probably not and I'm just quiet, but who knows, we'll see. Oh dang, I can't talk to any of my allies. Ghetto. Hafumi, I haven't talked to her. I want to at least say bye to her. Okay, she isn't here. Of course, good. Let's begin at once. Police cars are making rounds, so we can't stay here too long. We already have Masayo Shishido and Diet Building. All we need is what he thinks of this place. Maybe Mount Fuji, since it's the highest place in the country? Conditions have not been met. What about a mansion? Since he's going to subjugate everyone as Prime Minister, perhaps a school? What about an arena, like the Colosseum? Imperial Palace? It's no good. I thought we would have gained entry by now. Maybe we shouldn't have called you here. Hey, you think he's guarding his whole palace with a barrier? Shido stole the cognitive science research, right? Well, maybe it had some special move written in it. Is that even possible? Who knows? I've got no idea. There was nothing like that in the notes I saw. Anyways, what kind of person is Shido? I can't figure him out. I did some light research on him last night, but I couldn't get a grasp on the type of man he is. There's probably a legislator, right? I'll try asking him. Excuse me. I'm a member of the newspaper club at my high school. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure. What kind of person is Representative Shido? What's he think about the national diet? His stance is dedication for country. It's how he's garnered everyone's trust. He's an admirable man of action with a first-class determination. I'd say he's a model politician. I believe that he'll help create a wonderful future in which young adults like you can live in ease. Exemplary answer. It makes sense he wouldn't tell teenagers anything unnecessary. Look over there. He's on a walkie-talkie. Wait, is it about us? That doesn't look good. We should leave at once. Tomorrow's a day off, so let's have an early strategy meeting. Meet at LeBlanc, okay? We should all think about this tonight. And I finished my soup. So yeah. Hopefully I'm able to keep that down. The criminals calling themselves the Phantom Thieves are no more. However, 
I believe that this country's citizens are still living their days in anxiety. Well, yeah, the fandom things are gone, but nothing's really fixed. These scandals only increase our distrust of the current government. As a citizen myself, I am enraged. Look who's talking. All right. What does it mean to be a politician with responsibility? Working toward personal gain without consideration of the country is outrageous. <sighs> the election's public notification is tomorrow. But no matter where I go, people are cheering for Shido. Everyone's being deceived so easily. In order to save this country that has been tainted by villains, social reform is essential. Ugh. Futaba ain't cold with them little ass shorts on she got? Apparently not. Let's not do that today. Then win, Morgana, win. Last one. Diamond mine. Oh, dang. <sighs> no good. How many of y'all been doing? How many do we miss? <sighs> Perhaps he truly does have a barrier up. Right? That's not something to be excited about. We know all the way up to diet building, too. So you enter keywords into the Metaverse Navigator. Boss, can you turn the TV on? Shido might be on it. Sure thing. Goro Akechi. Him and his stupid composed face. So, Akechi-san. Is it true you withdrew yourself from the media as part of your plan to capture the Phantom Thieves? I truly apologize for causing such a stir. Honestly, it required a lot of courage to openly oppose them when their popularity was at its peak. I'm gonna go get some slippers. I mean, people often lashed out at me online and whatnot. Then was it also your plan when you said they weren't at fault after their popularity declined? That was to catch them off guard. I could say I applied my profiling knowledge. 
Once they lost public support, someone they thought was their greatest enemy lent a hand. Wow. That's the same strategy used in romance, wouldn't you agree? Why is he being treated as an ace detective of justice? <laughs> it's not just on TV or online. Newspapers, magazines, I see his face everywhere. On the other hand, no one's hoping for our comeback on the fan site. Like, at all. The Phantom Thieves are evil. Shido and Akechi are just. It should be the other way around. They're manipulating information using the media. Leaving Akechi aside, We'll get back at him later. Our main issue is Shido. Were there any instances before when you didn't know the palace keywords? Were there? Bro, I don't even remember. Well, there was the time with Futaba. We didn't know anything about her, so all we could do was make conjectures. Then why don't we just go directly and see Shido? That's impossible. He's surrounded by bodyguards and followers all the time. There's no way high school students can get an appointment with him either. Well, we do have an adult with us. No, that's still impossible. Besides, that's too dangerous a method. This is a problem. What's with the ruckus outside? To everyone gathered before Young and Jaya Station. Yeah, of course. Isn't that an election campaign car? Oh, right! The candidates are currently campaigning! I apologize for the commotion. I am Masayoshi Shido. Wait, did he just say Shido? Yeah, he did! Hmm? Man, talk about being lucky! <laughs> we can go check him out without an appointment now! ran off toward the station. This way. Hurry! By the way, did something happen? He didn't seem well a moment ago. They're not gonna go with us? Guess not. Slightly sad, the game is slowly coming to an end. I humbly ask that you cast your vote for me, Masayo Shishido. Let us all set sail toward a happy future, together. I hope to continue serving you all. Is that the guy? You guys wait here. I'll go get intel for us. Wait! Hey! Yo, Shido-san! Stand back. I just want to talk to him for a sec. He's a busy man. The hell? 
Ain't he supposed to hear a citizen's comments? That's enough, Brad. You're that asshole we met at the hotel before, at the elevators. Oh, I'm, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? What are you talking about? That moron! Come on, stop! But these guys... Hey, kid. You don't want to know what happens when you cross me. It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. Damn brat! I'll sue! What are you looking at? This country is filled with clueless children. I worry for Japan's future. Let them go. My next appointment is coming up. <sighs> what a piece of shit. So what do you think after seeing him in person? Wait! He's the jerk you told us about before? The same guy! For real? Seriously? You're sure, aren't you? Shido's the one who ruined your life. Holy shit! I don't believe it! <sighs> it all comes full circle. Let's get going, okay? Shido's the guy who set you up? What kind of fate brought you two back together? I know, right? Talk about a destined connection. Shido was involved in the cognitive research too, right? This can't be dismissed as just a coincidence. God, what the hell's going on here? Shido was already a politician then, yet he sued a student and ruined his future? He must have pulled some strings so that his name wouldn't be mentioned. Furthermore, he also would have had to force that woman into making a false statement. He would do anything. We're talking about a man who ordered a hit inside the police station. He can't sit still until he crushes whoever opposes him, no matter how trivial. He's always been that way. What a piece of shit. Children are the future, my ass! What he's saying and doing are completely different! But now that we found out who did it, can't something be done about his record? Once the courts have made a judgment, overturning that decision will be difficult. It'd barely be possible even if proof of innocence is presented and Shido admits to his crimes. At any rate, we need to trigger a change of heart in him. Be that as it may, Shido's outer appearance and his true face are wholly different. It's beyond hypocritical. It's as if he's an entirely different person. He speaks about the good of the country. It makes me wonder what really is on his mind. That man's full of ambition to rise in the world. He only thinks of the weak as stepping stools for his success. He treats himself as an elite man while looking down on others. Ugh, that's the worst. I assume the keyword for what he believes the diet building is will be despicable too. It must be something self-centered and completely different from politics. Someone like him needs to be punished as soon as possible. 
Let's head to the diet building again right after school tomorrow. I feel we'll get it this time. <sighs> Stewing over it won't get anywhere. We have to do this. Sorry. Uh. Just repositioning myself. spend my days my thing is yeah they flash forward to the afternoon like why couldn't y'all have me like do stuff during the day like make infiltration tools or something Security guards became suspicious of us last time, so we can't stay here for long. But we still have no hit. Think it's a barrier after all? Oh my god, Akechi doesn't have my SP adhesive, does he? Shoot, I honestly don't know. Where'd your enthusiasm from yesterday go? Ah, shut up. The real game starts at two outs. Enough chatting. You should only be thinking about the keyword. The citizens are secondary. He only cares about his own well-being and that of his lackeys. He wants to become prime minister, even if it means trampling on others. Fortune, rich people. Hey, can you think of anything based on what you've heard from him? Uh. Just try saying anything. It doesn't matter if you guess. Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. Steer? Back 
to square one. I can't think of anything. It was a match? Oh, shoot. We did it. What? The diet building's a ship? What kind of scenery will that be? The actual building's on land. I can't even begin to imagine what it will be like. A whole new world. Well, whatever it is, looks like there are no barriers. Oh, sh shut up! Let's hurry up and go in. Are we clear of the guard's sight? Get closer to the wall, just in case. All right, do it. I like how he said, get closer to the wall. No one moved. <laughs> no one moved an inch. Hmm. What's up, Futaba? <laughs> Futaba? Hmm? What is it? <laughs> the hell? Huh? <sighs> hey, yo, this is wild. That's what this cognition is about, huh? 